Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Anio Sign. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. We're now be seated. Today is Monday, January 10th, 2022. Now let's take a brain break. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks, Vani. Sports fans, welcome back to Sports Equipment Origins. Today's edition is about the pole vault, also known as pole jumping. Pole vaulting is a track and field event in which athletes use a long and flexible pole as an aid to jump over a bar, which is usually made from fiberglass or carbon fiber. They were first made from ash and hickory wood, then evolved to bamboo poles with sharp points at the bottom. Originally, the vaults were used to cross canals filled with water and marshlands, but now they are used for Olympic sporting. So now you know th about pole vaulting and its interesting history. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is cheesy baked penne, green beans, breadstick, strawberry fruit pearls, and your choice of milk. Students, don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Good appetit. Let's get back to Vani. Thank you, Sonia. Our March I Ready Challenge is on now and ends on March 16th. Students must have 25 past math and reading I Ready lessons to go to the glow party. Let's get our lessons done. Glow crazy for this next challenge. I can't wait. The Hero Store opens today. This shop will be open from 7.30 a.m. to 7.55 a.m. And it's in room 114. Have a look at the schedule to see when you will be able to attend. Scholars, the iReady assessments are here. We are taking a short break from testing, but we are, will be getting back to the swing of things by tomorrow. And Wednesday with iReady testing for 3rd and 8th grade. Take a look at the flyer for more upcoming dates. Make sure to use your test taking strategies. Today is an early release day and tomorrow there is no school. For today, school ends at 1 p.m. Let's spend our extra two hours to the fullest. Our Pines Patriot Car Wash is coming up soon. It's on Saturday, January 29th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Costs just $10 per car wash. Tickets are sold on myschoolbooks.com. This event will be a great help to our school athletes. Hope to see you there. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with Randy. Thank you, Vani. Hey Patriots, today's weather is 80 degrees Fahrenheit and rainy skies. It's time for the cloud showers, so grab a coat or just stay in shelter. In other weather news, lenticular clouds are forming in Colorado. Swirling clouds appear over Colorado winds. These clouds look like mini tornadoes with width longer than height. These clouds form by going past and down mountain winds, spinning the clouds making them look like a UFO. These clouds do look really pleasing to watch. Now let's go to Chanel and Destiny for today's Hot Topic. Hey Patriots, welcome to Hot, Hot Topic. Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's the trending this week. There are all new kinds of movies at the movie theaters that are currently trending right now, like Encanto, Spider-Man No Way Home, and the Bat and Cat movie. Spider-Man No Way Home was definitely a mind-blowing experience. Well, here's one thing that shocked us all. Surprisingly, Little Caesars has raised their hot and ready pizza prices for the first time from $5 to $5.55 plus tax. That's such a ripoff, but I'm a Domino's girl myself. But in more acceptable news, Zoom meetings are helping the planet. Turns out, when you have a meeting online, it reduces the carbon footprint by 94%. That's great for the Earth. 
Family Feud host Steve Harvey is now starting another TV show called Judge Steve Harvey. It was released on ABC January 4th, 2022. I love a great comedy show. That's it, Patriots. Now let's go to Angelie for the birthdays. Thank you, Chanel and Destiny. Today's birthday girl is Aaliyah Fothergill. Happy birthday. And let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Angelie. Scholars, here are your pet's expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for last week's trivia winners, congrats to Miss Sheriff, Miss Santori, Miss June, Miss Stone, Miss Only, Miss Cavalita, Miss Shadid, Miss Reddick, Miss Ian Danqua, and Miss Williams. You have the correct answer to Friday's trivia question, which was, who is the founder and chairman of Amazon? The correct answer is Jeffrey P. Bezos. Teachers and scholars, here is today's trivia question. In the movie Harry Potter, and the prisoner of Azkaban, what kind of creature is Buckbeak? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Ever in RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!